Howdy to the YouTube uh, community. This is Bill coming at you again with another review from Reviews by Bill. And this time I bring you one of my um, favorite knife companies. I've done a video of one of their knives before, or maybe two, I can't remember, um, of Buck Knives. Uh, I've had Buck Knives since before I got into Boy Scouts at age 12. My dad had one or two, and I just always found that they were quality knives. And this is a review of my uh, fixed blade buck knife. It is a buck woodsman right here in the sheath. Nice little knife. Um, let me show you the knife. So nice leather sheath. Get that all in there. Um, big um, belt loop. So if you like a wide, thick belt, you can probably get it in there or not. It's... Um, riveted on which is nice uh, I also like the fact that this sheath locks up right here with a button and um, I've used this knife quite a bit and the button hasn't worn out it hasn't broken or anything uh, which I think is really great and another thing I really like about this sheath is the size of the um, snap piece so it's not just like one little band right here holding um, the handle and it's actually all this right here is what's holding um, the handle in right here. So here's the sheath, pretty standard sheath. Um, another thing to note is, there are two things actually. Um, one is there's no seam right here. It's actually I think there's a wood insert here and the leather is stitched um, on either side. And the other thing I was going to comment on is the leather uh, and the stitching. It's real. Let's see if I can get that in there. There it is. It's real, real heavy, real thick, um, and it's real tight. And I've never had a problem. It's not in any kind of position where it's going to rub and fray off. Um, and the loose ends are, I believe, tied up in the bottom of the sheath there. So, here's the knife. Um, fantastic knife. Very simple. Um, on another tab here, I have the uh, specs of the knife. So, um, let me read those to you. It's, uh, it's got a 4-inch blade, or 10.2 centimeters. The blade material is 420 HC stainless steel. Uh, it's carrying system, obviously, the black leather sheath. It's obviously a fixed blade. Um, the handle material up here is phenolic, um, which is a type of plastic. It weighs 2.5 ounces, or 71.2 grams. Uh, so, obviously, it's a... I mean, maybe it's not obvious, but it's a very, very well-made knife, in my opinion. Uh, usually, I take mine backpacking because it's not very heavy, in my opinion. And even if it was a little on the heavy side, um, I wouldn't mind carrying it because I know I've got uh, a blade that won't fail me, most likely. I mean, there's always that 1% chance or whatever it is. Um, mostly, I... Uh, take my backpacking and when I had an external frame backpack I would zip tie the whole sheath to the external frame of my backpack and I'd either keep it like right here if my backpack went over the top I'd just keep it right here or even I would keep it on the bottom by my hip uh, by my right hip and I would actually zip tie it down like this um, which you run the risk if this comes off, you know, it could drop out. Um, but I never had a problem. Um, applications for this knife, as you can see, it's non-serrated. It's got a real nice finish. Rises up into a little tip there. Um, I take really good care of my knives because if you take care of them, they'll take care of you when I need it most. Um, this has no serrated edge, which is fine. Um, I usually use this for cooking as I do most of my knives, and I used it for cleaning fish. I still do use it for cleaning fish. It's not huge, and it's not a real flexible blade. Actually, it doesn't have any give at all, which is something to note. 
Um, so I would not want to use this for like cleaning tuna or marlin or dorado or mahi mahi. Uh, but I used it for cleaning um, rainbow trout and uh, brown trout and river fish, basically. Uh, you could probably do bass or whatever with it. Um, or camp activities, cutting some rope, or shaving off kindling, or something like that. Um, so, here she is. Very durable knife. Uh, I would rate this out of 10. Probably out of 10. Probably like an 8.3. Um, just because I don't believe any knife is perfect, so no knife for me will ever get a 10. Um, and I thought did another point and change, um, just because of the price point, mostly. I mean, I don't know what makes this knife any cheaper than some of Buck's or... Um, Benchmade or whoever you want to compare this to. I don't know why. I've never had a problem with it, so I don't understand why it's so cheap. I mean, this is a great knife, and it's got all the features that, you know, you want from a simple camp knife. Um, and I think it, uh, it's 71 bucks. Um, and I bought mine at a sporting goods store. I don't remember when. I bought it 10 years ago, probably. Um, but I think it deserves an 8.3 because, uh, A, it's not a whole lot of blade. I mean, it's only four inches, and that's, you know, very manageable once you get a hold of it. Um, but it's not long enough to do some other tasks. It's not really like a machete kind of knife. Anyways, I'm just rambling. So 8.3 out of 10, quality knife, great handle. Got the little knob at the back to lock in with. Uh, I didn't note this, but it's got little contour for your fingers here, so you can kind of get your top two fingers like that and then come around the back, and it's got a little finger guard here, so you can really lock in. One thing I do love about this knife is it offers a ton of control um, when cutting or doing a, a real fine task or whatnot. Okay, I covered the sheath, uh, pros and cons, I covered the knife, I gave it an 8.3 because no knife is perfect and this is just an excellent all around uh, camp and um, sheath knife. Thanks for stopping by, Bill's Reviews coming at you again from San Diego.